Well, it looks like we're all gonna have to reschedule our Christmas plans because FGO just thrusted us into another loss belt. Hello everyone, Soberoni of GNA Reviews here with a servant spotlight for the crit daddy himself, Super Orion. We'll be examining his stats and skills as well as going over pointers at how you utilize him effectively and an overall grade, comparing him to how he stacks up to the other 5 star servants. So if you're ready to witness the true power of a Greek god, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and ring my bell so you can catch all of these spotlight videos as they go up and you can help out the channel. But for now, on to Orion's stats. Super Orion has a max HP of 13,494 and a max attack of 12,557, which becomes 11,929 due to his Archer class modifier. Orion's HP stat is just a little below average for his class, however he does possess the highest attack of all Archer servants. Unsurprisingly, this also means that he has one of the highest attack stats of any 5 star in the game, but his HP stat is also decent compared to most other 5 stars. When it comes to his command cards, Orion has 3 hits on his quick card, 3 hits on his arts, 1 hit on his buster, and 5 hits on his extra card. He has an NP gain rate of 0.96% and a star rate of 8%. Super Orion's stats have a heavy offensive focus, but he isn't exactly lacking in defense either, which makes him feel more in line with an all-rounder rather than a glass cannon. And despite his buster-heavy deck, Orion also has very good NP gain, mostly due to his extremely high NP gain rate. His natural star generating, however, is lackluster. Taking a look at his skills, Orion's first skill is Stout Arm of Brutality, rank B+. This skill increases his buster card effectiveness as well as his damage against wild beast and demonic enemies, both for one turn, and both between between 30 and 50% depending on level. His second skill is Pressure of the Moon Goddess Rank EX. This skill grants him Guts one time, lasting for three turns, and reviving him with between 1000 and 3000 HP. It also increases his attack for three turns between 10 and 20%, and grants him between 10 and 20 crit stars, all depending on level. And finally, Super Orion's last skill is Bowman of the Three Stars, rank A+. This skill increases Super Orion's crit star absorption rate for three turns, between 300 and 500%, and it also grants his Buster cards an on-hit effect that increases his crit damage for one one turn between 50 and 100%, both depending on level. As for his passives, Orion has Independent Action rank EX, which increases his crit damage by 12%, Blessing of the Sea God rank B, which increases his own damage and reduces damage taken, both by 175, and Curse of Scorpio rank D, which grants toxic status to himself as a demerit, increasing poison damage against himself by 20%. Moving on to his deck and Noble Phantasm, Super Orion has a Buster deck with Quick Arts, Buster 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 Buster, and an Arts Noble Phantasm. His Noble Phantasm is Artemis Hognos. It's a self buff that increases his attack for 3 turns, between 30 and 50%, depending on NP level, and it also grants him Ignore Invincibility and Debuff Immunity, as well as the ability to passively generate 10 stars every turn for 3 turns. In addition, it also increases his crit damage for 3 turns, between 100 and 200%, depending on Overcharge. Surprisingly enough, Super Orion's Ascension Mat requirements aren't all that demanding since he mostly uses old silver and gold mats. For level ascension, he needs 22 heroes proof, 10 octuplet crystals, 9 lanugos, and 5 gallstone. Heroes proof can be farmed at the pirate ship in Okeanos with a 57% drop rate, octuplet crystals have a 40% drop rate at the peach blossom Shangri-La in Agartha, lanugos are best farmed at the blood fort in Babylonia where they have an 18% drop rate, and gallstones drop at the Arakawa field in Shimosa with a 12% drop rate. Skill leveling is a bit more demanding for Super Orion though since he does make use of some of the newer mats. To max a skill, he needs 15 octuplet crystals, 44 heroes proof, 24 arrowheads, and 10 star shards per skill. Arrowheads drop from the God Sky Boulder Ruins in Lost Belt 4 with a 40% drop rate, and star shards are a new mat that drop at the Nemesis Island in Atlantis with a 12% drop rate. The super in Super Orion isn't there just for show. As you can probably guess from the brief overview, Orion is absolutely loaded. From a stats perspective, he has the highest attack in his class, which is saying something for a class that 
that includes the likes of Gil and Ishtar. But despite his high attack, his HP doesn't really suffer since it's about average for a 5 star servant. And even his NP gain is astoundingly good for his deck since he can nearly fill up his entire NP gauge from a single arts crit. Orion's passives are also worth a mention thanks to his very high ranking independent action skill, which synergizes perfectly with his kit. Curse of Scorpio is a purely negative passive, but since poison isn't that common in FGO, it's largely irrelevant. Orion's only statistical weak point is the lack of star generating from his low hit counts, which would normally be very detrimental to a crit DPS, but even then Orion has ways to make up for it. His second skill, Pressure of the Moon Goddess, is a star bomb that generates 20 crit stars, as well as increases Orion's attack and grants him guts. On any other servant, this would be a good skill, but on Orion, it's great, particularly due to how well it synergizes with his other skills and how it makes up for his weaknesses. The Guts is on a relatively short cooldown, which gives Orion plenty of defensive utility. The attack buff may be small, but it does stack with the attack buff from his NP, so it basically gives Orion a 3 turn mana burst. And the Star Bomb is excellent for setting up a turn of big buster crit damage. This is simply the perfect skill for Orion to use right before a Noble Phantasm. But where things get even better is Orion's third skill, Bowman of 3 Stars. This skill gives Orion additional star weight and also grants his buster cards an on hit effect that increases his crit damage by 100% for a turn. Yep, you heard that correctly, it's a 100% stacking crit buff, which means that Orion's Buster Brave Chains can do absolutely bonkers things like this. Into the abyss. <gasps> That's so cool. Save Orion sounds awesome. Yeah. If there, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm coming. Ah! <laughs> Did you see that damage? Holy yes. fuck. <laughs> This skill is probably the strongest pure damage buff in the game, provided that you can get buster crits. Which isn't all that hard, since the star absorb makes getting crits with Orion almost guaranteed, so long as you can produce at least 20 or more crit stars. The criminally short cooldown of only 5 turns is just icing on the cake, since it means that this skill is easily abusable and it can be used multiple times in many fights. Finally, if that wasn't enough damage, Orion also has Stout Arm of Brutality, which is just a casual mana burst that also provides an additional 50% damage buff against wild beasts and demonic enemies. When a double mana burst is your weak a skill, you know that you're overtuned. Either way, the Buster buff is crazy strong, especially because it again stacks with Orion's 50% attack buff to give him over 100% bonus damage, not even counting crits. So even his non crit damage is absolutely bonkers. The anti demonic and wild beast buff isn't as strong since not many servants fall into those categories. However, many common enemies in story quests are demonic, as are many raid bosses, so Orion does have a niche as a raid boss killer. For skill priority, I recommend leveling Bowman of the 3 stars first since it's just so broken, followed by his star bomb skill second for the better setup, and then his buster buff last. For his append skills, go with mana loading first and then the extra card damage. The extra card damage is especially strong on Orion due to his solo potential. Orion's NP is a self buff that increases his attack damage and crit damage, and also grants him debuff immunity, ignore invincibility, and generates crit stars every turn. Talk about busted NPs, this one is definitely a candidate for most OP Noble Phantasm in the game. As I mentioned earlier, that attack buff is great because it stacks with Orion's other damage buffs, but that additional 100% crit damage on top of the bonus crit damage from his third skill is just overkill. Keep in mind that nearly every other crit servant in the game buffs themselves to about 100% bonus crit damage. Orion though can reach upwards of 300% easily and consistently. The passive star generating is basically a free max limit broken 2030, so Orion will always have a ton of crit stars to feed himself, and the debuff immunity and ignore invincibility buffs make him invaluable for challenge quests since he can basically never be slowed down by debuffs and he will always be able to damage enemies, even if they have permanent evade. It's also worth mentioning that because the Noble Phantasm gain on Orion's arts card is so good, he can basically spam this Noble Phantasm and stack the effects. So in practice, these buffs will almost always
always be active on Orion. So as you can probably guess, Orion is the best pure DPS in all of FGL. No other servant can match his raw damage potential and his consistent crits. But what really sets Orion apart from other strong DPS servants is that he is completely self-sufficient. He doesn't really need any supports to reach his max potential. He has more than enough survivability from his guts, he has an endless supply of damage buffs, he can consistently generate his own stars, and he doesn't even need help in challenge quests because of that invincibility pierce and debuff immunity. All of this makes him one of the game's best soloers, and in fact, sometimes supports even get in his way by stealing stars and clogging up your hand. Simply put, Orion is one of the best servants in FGL for all non-farming content. He trivializes challenge quests and many upcoming boss fights from the Lost Belts, and he even excels in the Grailfront battles, which will be a new mode coming up soon for NA. However, it is important to keep in mind that nearly all of Orion's power comes from critting, which means that he is a little bit RNG dependent for damage. And because he goes all in on his buster crit playstyle, he doesn't have much if any versatility. He can only be built to do one thing. And that makes team comps for Orion a very tricky thing to discuss, because ideally the best team comp for Super Orion is no team. He tends to be most consistent and powerful when he goes in all by himself. But in situations outside of one-on-one -on -one boss fights, having a team can help. And there are supports who can work well with Orion. You'll want to pair him with crit supports who can generate stars and buff his crit damage, like Osakabe Hime, Santa Nightingale, and Summer Bibi. Nightingale and Osakabe Hime provide healing on top of star generating and crit buffing, which gives Orion a bit more survivability. Nightingale is especially strong for challenge quests due to her extra guts and her defensive utility. Bibi, on the other hand, can improve Orion's consistency by locking his cards in place to give him a perpetual brave chain while also generating crit stars. Orion's bond CE is Hunter of the Stars. It generates 8 crit stars per turn and buffs the party's crit damage by 15%. Not a bad CE for Orion since it does give him everything he needs, so it's usable, but the poor stats make it inferior to other crit buffing CEs like Joint Recital, Victor from the Moon, Starry Knights, or Gem Magecraft, which all do a better job of boosting crit damage. In the future, I also highly recommend Like a Bird, which is a free craft essence that is perfect for Orion since it buffs buster crit damage significantly and it also generates stars every turn. For command codes, use any command code that buffs buster crit damage, like Mistress of Heaven, for obvious reasons. Overall, Super Orion is a super servant. The sheer amount of damage that he outputs is ridiculous, and he can very often deplete an enemy boss's entire HP bar in just one or two crits. And he doesn't even need to depend on any supports to help him out, since he has so many buffs built into his kit, which makes him incredibly self-sufficient and one of the best soloers in the game. On top of that, his defensive utility and near-permanent invincibility pierce allow him to easily handle nearly any boss fight or challenge quest. He even excels as a one-man wrecking crew in Grailfront, so it's unlikely that his relevance will die down anytime soon. His only limiting factors are his somewhat RNG-dependent playstyle and his low versatility. If you aren't a fan of Buster Crits, then Orion is just a really big and buff paperweight. But all of that said, Super Orion gets an S from me. Super Orion is the standard for all crit DPS servants, and there simply isn't any servant capable of competing with him when it comes to single target damage potential. However, while Super Orion may be a freak of nature, keep in mind that the Archer class is filled with really OP servants, so I don't exactly think that you need to go out of your way and roll for him if you already have a good archer like Gil or Ishtar, unless you just want to. And those are my thoughts on Super Orion. He's definitely OP, but he's not all that necessary if you're comfortable with the archers that you already have. So for those of you saving up for Castoria, unless you really like Orion, I'd say keep saving. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over at our Discord, chill with us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So Roni out, later.